So scenarios. This is the focus of your um, task, your second portfolio item, and you're aiming to develop a scenario about the future. Now, this will be informed from the range of different possibilities that you've explored as part of your futures wheel and the data that you've gathered to construct various trends and to make various predictions and forecasts based on those predictions. But it will all come down eventually to one scenario. Now normally in future studies we would develop a range of scenarios. Um, our preferred future, our most likely future and our worst case future would be generally the three that would be developed and that can then inform how we go about trying to bring those, or our preferred one, <laughs> into being. So scenario writing has a direct applied approach. Now this differentiates it from many forms of research in that it is very much a political form of, of research where we're actually trying to change things. Not all research presents itself in that way. Um, certainly, more of the quantitative research shies away from doing so, while some of our more critical theories, such as feminism and eco-ecological research, um, is very much embedded in making change. Um, future studies is on that, um, towards that spectrum of making changes, of influencing policy. So one aspect is trying to ensure that the system the future that we want to see achieved is sustainable. Um, and that's probably one of the biggest challenges around many of the issues in education, in that it's relatively easy to enact a change. It's very difficult to have that change be systemic and long term, where it goes beyond a single school and affects an entire system or indeed the entire global educational system. That takes a lot more effort and is very rarely achieved. We can see fantastic examples of wonderful practice in individual schools, sometimes systems, sometimes even states or countries. But having that effect change across the board in education is unfortunately very rare. So trying to imagine the future we want to see needs to incorporate that aspect of sustainability. How is that future going to be sustained into the further future? Now, one aspect of that is what's called emerging issues analysis. This is where we can look at innovations such as new technologies, and generative text is a great example of that. It's an emerging educational technology that is likely to have some significant effects, and we can start making predictions on that. But it's also going to have impact upon social trends, economic impacts and a whole range of other influences on our society that will have as much an influence on whether or not it's sustained in education as other factors such as learning. <laughs> so again we need to think divergently. We need to consider all the different interactions and implications that may arise from what occurs in the future that you describe. And part of that is around a technique called goal seeking, where we're trying to create what if scenarios and then work out how to actually get there. So futures research is an effective tool for that. And we'll discuss that in more detail in the tutorial.